President Yun's latest actions come as a surprise to Guangzhou citizens, as conservative politicians rarely make such moves. So how deeply in green are the memories of the events that unfolded in 1980 into the hearts of many whose lives are adversely impacted by it? Kim Doyen went to hear directly from the people. 70-year-old Kim Saik and 65-year-old Yang Jung Gan both lost younger brothers during the May 18 pro-democracy movement military crackdowns. On this 42nd anniversary, they're here at Gwangju May 18 National Cemetery where their brothers were laid to rest. I was scared so I was kind of in the back. Now my brother is dead and I am forever ashamed. I have been ashamed to be alive for the past 42 years. Until now, conservative politicians had been accused of showing less compassion for the deceased and their relatives. That's why President Yoon sung yeols decision to sing along to the Marching for Our Beloved, while also calling on his party's lawmakers to come down with him, is all the more significant. However the conservatives were before, the fact that he said Gwangju led the foundation for the whole country's democracy was good. I didn't support Yoon. In fact, I opposed him. But what he did today has a lot of meaning. Yang is not the only one that opposed President Yoon. The city as a whole has never voted for a conservative president in the history of South Korea's direct elections since 1987. In fact, Yoon just had 12 percent of the votes in Gwangju during the last election, and that was a record high for a conservative candidate. Hence, some remain skeptical. The conservatives have to repent. They didn't have to come to Gwangju today. On the other hand, his speech certainly underscored the importance of the historical event, but the citizens of Gwangju and relatives of the victims want more tangible action. Maybe soon the May 18 pro-democracy movement can be added to the country's constitution. That will lift a lot of weight off of the deceased relatives. This, hopefully, can be a constant reminder to South Koreans about the dark history. But for the citizens of Gwangju, it's never forgotten. At the city center where civilians held their ground until their deaths, the memories are preserved. From bullet holes to daily alarms at 5.18 p.m. that plays the Marching for Our Beloved melody. Behind me are nearly 250 bullet holes from the last days of the military crackdown on the May 18 pro-democracy movement. The country spent decades just to come to a consensus that these holes are caused by helicopter gunshots. The sooner more of these truths come out, the sooner families of the victims can find peace. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News, Gwangju.